Hello YouTube model community, Phil here at Horton's Hot Rod Shop. An update on the scale build of gentlemen group build hosted by Paul over at Styrene Relics. Alright, I got my push bar added to the back of the car. Got my tank put in, straps on it, painted up. Filler cap filled, filled painted. Radiator is in there, you can see the shadow of that. A little more of it there. <clears throat> little trailer I built for the for the two of them. It's actually an EMT kit. Use the fenders that, from the back of the race car for the trailer fenders. <clears throat> Made me up a little racing helmet with a number four on it to go with the car. I'm going to try to get up close enough to see some more of the detail without getting too bad. Okay, plug wires on it. That was fun. As you can see, there's no shell in there. No grill material in the shell itself. Uh, got clear boots on the plug wires. Got a fuel line put on it. As far as the bottom of the car goes, not a ton of detail, but it's a drag car. being said. Now the tow car, you can see a lot of the weight for the trailer is on the nose. So it's got the back of the car weighed down a little bit. This motor is wired as well. It's only got two two carbs on it instead of the three carb. Uh, they hide away under the hood quite well. Figure if we blow a motor on the race car we can always steal the one out of the the tow vehicle here and be able to go back to racing. The trailer has the same tires and wheels as the race car does, so it's always a spare tire if something goes wrong. Channeled the body down far enough that I had to cut the hole through the hood. So that come up pretty good overall. Uh, deck lid just sets on there right now well, it'd be pinned shut anyway overall this was a whole lot of fun uh, I have one more that kind of fits the theme but not really. It's an older drag race, sand drag type car I built. This is more model cars with Glen style build. I don't know if you'd want to call it a gasser or a sand dragster. Or... This is my quarter mile crawl. This used to be a Ed Roth. I think it was a, a rap. That's a Beatnik Bandit 2, I think. Body. The chassis came out of the AM or IMC Avenger model kit. Tires were something I had in a parts box. The rear tires, anyway. Uh, motor come out of the IMC kit. And in fact, it's still the green of the pl same plastic. I just like the way it looks, so I left it. It turned out to be a pretty fun build overall. 
And been doing some more work on trailers. top one off leave the bottom one there and it's back in the light quite a bit it's kind of hard to see it let's get it off there and see if I can't get the camera focused down on it there we go now you can see the wood a little better it's got real balsa wood bedding not mid material on it uh, it's all built from start from styrene or evergreen plastics different widths and stuff to make the trailer itself you have two versions of it this one's more gonna be a dual rail open center trailer it sets more more forward on the tongue so that the trailer can be a little shorter uh, so that's that as far as the question about what tools we I use all the time I have my really really nice set of tweezers the grips in the end that I got from a, from a contributor that works at a hospital and they throw away tools that have been used too long or give them away or used to anyway. Now they're under management so that don't happen no more. Uh, the standard utility knife, the Westcott one there was a really nice pen style when I got it. Got a real tiny small blade on the front. <clears throat> well, it's kind of, I ain't been able to find one since, but I was. It had a a button there that you could push, and the blade would retract. Uh, I was playing around with it, trying to figure out how to change the blade one day, and broke it. Uh, recently, I bought a little hammer. So they don't have to beat on stuff with a pair of pliers or whatever. Like putting axles in, old metal axles in those things. You know. The little scales that we all seem to use. You know, got a couple of them laying around. Paint brushes, markers, a little screwdriver I use to help pry stuff apart. The little pin vise hand drills. Uh got three of them the one in the center is one of my oldest ones and I picked that up in a, in a box at a place one time for like five bucks with a drill bit in it and the one next to it the silver one that is a one I picked up at Hobby Lobby and it has four different size collets in it one collet has two different sizes on each end, and there's one in the tip and one in the handle. And the black one is actually from a wood section. Picked that up at Hobby Lobby, a company called Woodpile. Comes with that little orange plastic tray that holds all the blades, or all the bits. All the bits. Uh, you just adjust the collar on it to fit any of the ones in there. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it's going through the old AMC kit I bought a couple of times ago down at the McComb Show in the Detroit area mile. Detroit area auto modelers that put on back in uh, fall last year. Got this on a, from a table. A guy down there, part of the way through the day, he decided he was gonna anything on the table was half off, and I picked this up. And it appears to be about all of it there, I do believe. 
The part that caught my eye is this thing here. And I do believe I it's all in here. But it's actually a not actually the truck for the little red wagon. Because that's supposed to be molded in red, and this one's molded in white. But it has an old little red wagon instructions to it. And it shows what that is. Which is a Hemi engine crate. So you could actually build this as somebody building the truck from scratch. A stock version. The complete drag version. Instructions are really yellowed. The truck is shown in red in the instructions. And I've shown these before on it. The touch tone terror decals that I picked up in a decal junkyard. But it's looks like it's all in there. Uh, the body's in really good shape. It's still got all the supports in it. To hold it straight floor pans all in it got really nice wheel tubs in it uh, front straight axles all there leaf springs are there tires are in the box I put them in a bag they're white wall tires and, and pie crust cut slicks or pie crust slicks uh, it did come with the little red wagon decals in it as well. They're kind of yellowed, but they're still in really good shape. I'll find a use for them if they'll work. Uh, the crate itself, though, is really cool. Uh, I think everything's there. I'm not positive. There's a couple more pieces here still. Uh, there's another piece of it. Uh, frame of the trucks there I'm going to build it as a touch tone terror anyway so it does not have any of the telephone stuff unfortunately in the box with it but I do believe it is an old IMC kit mm. looking at the way stuff's made it's pretty cool. I gotta watch my time. I ran long earlier and it wouldn't let me upload it. Engine cover. Whole bunch more stuff in the box yet. Parts of the trays. Things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here before I get too long. Uh, I just wanna say thank you to all my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching this, you like what you see I'd appreciate the the subscription likes comments it's always fun to read them see what people think of what you're doing uh, have a good night guys